Hi my YouTube family, this is Melody from Home Garden and Fashion. I thank you so so much for being here today. Today we are going to have a wonderful time together. Hi, this is Melody. Today I am going to show you how I made this blouse. This blouse is made with purple sequin and golden beads now this video is a requested video without the bangle sound so many of you requested so i'm going to show you how this is made so i'm just taking a random t-shirt to show you but the one i made the design had a unique neck and i just followed the neckline so I'm going to be using red sequin 5mm you can get this supplies at any of the craft store so I'm not working with any craft store so I cannot give you any links and one of my video I tried to give link and that got demonetized for giving links so I'm not going to give any links now these are round beads, silver color. You can get this one at your local craft store as well. And I'm just going to gather all my things in a tray. It's easy to work when you keep it in a tray. This is glitter dimensional paint. And I'm going to use this paint as a glue. And this is just to tip up the paint container i'm going to use it as a tool to push it down the sequin and the bead and pick them up and put them in the shard you can use a q-tip or a tweezer as well and i'm just going to start by putting small dots and i'm using the paint as a glue now this is permanent so before you do it you will be sure that you want to do it and if you want to pick it up like you did the decoration and then you decided you don't want it anymore if you pick it up it will leave a white stain and now if the sequin or the bead fell off then you can always put new ones because when you buy a package there will be plenty of sequin usually comes like 100 sequin in a package like 79 cents or a dollar but you can use always 50% of coupons uh, so you when you decorate it you be sure that you want that design and if you make any mistake you want to remove it you have a wet cloth and you use the wet cloth to just remove it quickly so that um, it does not leave a white stain now when you remove it you take out the sequin and then wipe it off after that take a dry cloth and smear it all around so that it will be sort of like a glittery fabric but it will not leave a white mark so that's the only way to do it now when I'm putting the sequin on top of the paint and this really doesn't look very pretty at this moment but when it dries then it gives a golden glow now I am keeping it on the t-shirt here for the sake of sewing you but when you do decorate it don't put it on top of your t-shirt because it might leave some stains that you wouldn't want it other way so try to put in a plate next to you or a tray or on the palm of your hand but do not put it on the shirt the way I'm sewing it to you here now you're going to go around following the neckline all around and after that after you finish one line of sequin then you will go put in the second line of beads and once you finish the second line all the way around the beads 
then you do the third line of sequin and once you finish the third line of sequin then you do the fourth line of beads and once you finish the fourth line of beads then you do the fifth line of sequin so like this you can go as wide as you want it to be now there are a few things to remember one of the things is put the beads and the sequins really close because when they are close to each other they look better I mean, when they are far away from each other it's not like they look really bad but here that they are such a way the design is you would want them to be close now that's one thing second thing when you're doing the design between the top layer and the bottom layer you can put a paper or a piece of white cloth so that way the top layer of the blouse will not get stuck to the bottom layer of the blouse third point is if you think you made a mistake wipe it off right away so that it's clean right away don't let it dry fourth point is wherever you're doing the decoration be sure it's not going to be disturbed by anything for next two to three hours now if you're doing the decoration somewhere where you have a baby or a cat or a dog and they go on top of the decoration then everything will be smudged and it will be just a mess and if it dries it will be mess like that so you do it in a room after that you finish you close the room and better to do it at night time when no one will bother it and you just leave it alone for three hours and it will dry and next morning it will be really nice looking so now I'm going with a round of silver beads so I'm using silver beads in this one for example but my actual shirt I did it with golden beads so that was purple sequin and golden beads now you may not find a purple sequin like that at the store what you can do is there are a lot of trims with purple sequin you can get a yard of trim and then take out the sequin from it and then the other cheap way to get sequin is you get a hairband just sequin hairband usually a dollar and then you open it up and take out all the sequin now that's gonna take a little time but this is something you do it on your spare time like after dinner you sit down and you do it this will really calm you down this is sort of like meditation but it's kind of like better form of meditation because sometimes some people when they do meditation they cannot sit still for a long time they, or sometimes they cannot focus for a long time but when you're doing this this is sort of like meditation but you really don't need to force yourself to focus you automatically focus because you want to make it right you want to make it good so that way it's really after dinner meditation and this will make you really sleepy and sometimes when i did this i literally fell asleep on top of the shirt because this makes you really calms you down makes you really sleepy so like this i'm going to continue putting dots all around the blouse the neck i keep the neckline as my guideline and now this will look very good on a blouse this will look very very good on salwar kurta or any frog kind of things with the neck just you have to wait till it dries to see its real beauty because when it's wet it's sort of 
like a soggy paint now this is the same way it looks when you make it wet in water some people get panic when they make it wet in water they say oh it looks like a white glue but it does look like a white glue but then when you dry it it becomes normal now how to wash these clothes usually i hand wash them with a little mild soap and then i'll hang it to dry i don't put them in washer and dryer because you know obviously you know if you're gonna put them in washer and dryer the beads and sequin will fall off so it's just best to wash by hand and also when you putting the beads and the sequin make sure you press it down properly so they stay in place and also you need to make sure you put enough of this glue slash paint so you have enough for the glue so the glue can hold on to the sequin or the bead if you put too little glue the sequin and bead will fall off now you'll always have lots of beads and sequins left over to redo it if it falls off or so that way you know this is the blouse again how I did it and I don't know how it looks in the picture in the video but actually wearing it it looks really really good so you can make it like this and this blouse is really old years old but it's still like this and I have hand washed it more than 20 times and just I take good care of it so thank you bye bye hi thank you so so much for being here today I hope you enjoyed the video please don't forget to like subscribe comment and share this video Thank you. May God bless you all.